I'm sure many of you have heard of Kung Pao whenever you go to a Chinese restaurant. And this is our own version of Kung Pao and it's really healthy. And um, we're using tofu as our protein and brown rice instead of noodles for our one of our bases. So let's look at the ingredients first. So I have one and a half cups of short brown rice. So I've already cooked one and a half cups with, you know, the proportion is always two to one. So it's three cups of water to one and a half cups of brown rice. And that's what we have here. And brown rice, you know, it takes 45 or 50 minutes versus 15 to 20 for white rices. Okay, then we have a pound of firm tofu. You know, it comes in small or a soft, medium, and firm. And I think this is probably medium, but the recipe calls for firm. Then we have one cup of, of nuts, roasted peanuts. And I'm sure you could substitute other nuts if there are peanut allergies in your house. But these peanuts give it such a nice crunch. And then we have, an, we have other crunchy things. So we have um, eight ounces of water chestnuts. We have two thirds of a cup of grated carrots and um, two thirds of a cup of onion. So those are our spicy things or those are what make the, the, the bulk of it. Then this is the equivalent of our dressing. So, um, and this can be served hot or cold. And it's better if you let it sit for a day or two and let all the flavors meld in the refrigerator. So for this, we have um, two thirds of a cup of sesame oil, toasted sesame oil. Mm. Can't go wrong with that. And um, half a cup of soy sauce, <clears throat> tamari. So, you know, tamari is the, the wheatless version of soy sauce. And then we have four teaspoons or four tablespoons, which is a quarter cup of rice vinegar. And we have a table, two, tablespoon of red chili pepper or red chili, chili powder and two to three uh, cloves of garlic that are already smushed. So, so we just take the one set of ingredients, mix them up, and then we add in, in essence the dressing. And then, as I said before, it, it tastes good is one of my favorite things. I like it especially in the summer because you can do it at a time and it's not hot. You don't have to heat up the kitchen during the day when you're making dinner and it makes a nice, makes a really great cold salad. And it's really good warm too. Okay, so, so first we have our ingredients and so we're just gonna mix those up. sesame oil. We're going to add our tamari, our fancy soy sauce, our rice vinegar, two to three cloves of garlic, and a little chili powder, red chili pepper, red pepper chili. Okay, and all we do is mix all these up. And again, I said it's great as is, it's even better the next day. When you let all those flavors melt. You know, tofu takes on the flavor of whatever else it's fixed with. So when it's got these great spicy things, the, the, the sesame oil and so on, and it makes it really, it makes it really good. You don't really taste the tofu so much. And this is a little chunk, so it gives it some body without being, um, it can't be overpowering because it's tofu but it's also almost unnoticed as tofu because again, it blends with everything else. So it looks pretty, you know, if I were serving this at, with a meal, I would probably put parsley or um, uh, lettuce or something around the edges just to make, add a little, make, make it pop color-wise. So I put lots of green parsley around here, not for the flavor, just so it looks pretty. So, but there it is. And I'm gonna, even though it's fresh, I'm still gonna taste it. There's a reason why this one's in my recipe book, in my files. I made this for years, and my whole family will eat it, which is a good thing when you've got tricky kids and grandchildren, but they actually really like it. Okay, there it is, Kung Pao with brown rice and tofu. So here's our Kung Pao, which looks delicious. 
but I'm a big believer in the eye is our first taste organ. So how would we present something visually um, depends on how good it tastes. So here we have, I went out to my garden to see what's here. Here I have lots of mint, lots of mint. I have um, some sage, I have a little parsley, and I have basil. So any of those look, look really good. So if I put basil right in the center, that actually would be enough like that. But I could also just put a little parsley around the edge for a little border, but I didn't have enough parsley, so now I'm gonna go to the cinnamon, or to the, um, then I could put them in like this. Oh yeah, that looks great. A little more parsley here. You know, another thing you could do is take uh, grated parsley and just sprinkle it around the top. So it's the same thing, it's just got a little more pizzazz to it when it's got some green added to it. So here we go.